So recently I played Scott Pilgrim vs. The World on the Nintendo Switch. It was the first ever beat em up I ever played through and I surprisingly have a ton to say about it. So let's get into it. Scott Pilgrim is a crazy game in every single aspect. First, let's talk about the crazy weird story. Scott is our protagonist and is madly in love with his girlfriend Ramona and in order to secure her love, he goes around killing all her ex-boyfriends who are all insane and extremely evil. However, the ending is a bit of a plot twist. Does their relationship survive, or will Scott have to move on? Well, if you want to know that, you'll have to play it for yourself, as I want to try and avoid spoilers for this game as much as possible. Next, we're moving on to the graphics. The graphics of the game are amazing. The characters are immaculately animated and the world feels lived in. There are also a ton of small references to the film and comics this game was based on. The pixel art is absolutely beautiful with an amazing and bright color palette, and this game really pops on the Nintendo Switch. The sprites themselves are somewhat of a chibi style that is absolutely adorable and exudes so much charm. This entire graphical style in its color and sprite work is beautiful. It's one of the best looking pixel art games I have personally ever played, and I think this art style really added a lot to the goofy, fun, weird, and wild style this game has. Arguably the most important thing when discussing this game is the gameplay. Play. Now, as I said in the beginning, this was one of the first beat em ups I've ever really played. And this was definitely the first one I've ever beaten. So I think it's a pretty traditional beat em up. So it's 2D side scroller with some 3D traversal in between. I think that's pretty traditional for the genre. And what I mean by this is that you are confined to a 2D side scroller where you have a small area to move up and down along the left and right. Side note, this game has some amazing options and a lot of different characters to choose from. And each character has a different play style and it really adds a lot of replayability to this game. So keep that in mind. Then when it comes to the combat, each character has a bunch of different moves from dash attacks to high and low attacks however each is different adding to their replayability when executing combat it feels smooth and like it really packs a punch it's a lot of fun to mix and match your attacks and create super fun combos there's also a leveling system which to my understanding gives your character more health speed strength and things of that sort so to my dismay i actually was not aware that you were able to buy different things in the shop that would level you up more than once so i would buy something and then i would be like okay I think I'm pretty high level now, I don't want to keep buying the same thing over and over again. Literally buy the same thing over and over again because I fought the final boss at level 3 and you are supposed to be at level like 9 or 10. So just know that you should buy the same thing over and over and over again and not worry about thinking that something is going to go out of stock because it just doesn't, you just keep buying it. So although I'm new to the genre, I can say I did really enjoy it. Now of course these games are fairly small and even with all of my newbiness and lack of understanding that you could level up, I ended up beating it in about 3 days. But I did just play as Scott, so I do have the opportunity to return to the game and play as other characters if I so desire. So it's not a game I would pay more than 20 bucks for, or unless you, you know, obviously love the genre or you find it on sale. But I paid $5 for this because it was on sale on the Nintendo eShop. I'm not sure if it's still on sale, but if you ever see this game lower than 20 bucks or at 20 bucks, I seriously recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and I would give this game a solid 9 out of 10 for the genre. It's great for the money. It was great. I had a fantastic experience. So try it out. And if you have questions about it, if you're curious about it, if you never tried a beat em up before, tell me in the comments. Let me know. I can try to help you guys because I mean, I'd never played a beat em up before either. And I'm just getting myself ready for the physical release of Shredder's Revenge because I really want to get into that franchise as well. That pixel art looks great. I could go on and on about that, but I won't. So anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you thought of my video. Let me know if you've ever played that game. And remember to subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I mean, I make videos all the time, so you're gonna wanna stick around for it. And like the video too, because it just, it helps me out a lot. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys. Appreci- <laughs> Appreci- what? Anyways, thank you so much, and I'll see you all later.